my husband asked for a divorce, moved out, and is now asking if I want a divorce. What do I do with that? Let me flip it back to, to this person. Regardless of what your husband wants, what do you want? And it's like Hugh scene from The Notebook where he just constantly asks her, what do you want? Um, so, but, but all jokes aside, do you want to try to reconcile? Do you want to continue the separation for a while? Or do you want to move forward with divorce? So even if your spouse initiated the process, that doesn't mean you can't move it forward if that's what you truly want. It takes two people to get married, but it only takes one person to end the marriage. So if you're not sure what you want, here are some questions that you can reflect on to maybe gain some clarity. Are you sad? If so, are you sad because you are heartbroken and you miss your spouse and you want to be with your spouse? Or are you sad because you just generally miss companionship and are grieving the end of a relationship? There is a difference there. Um, what have you enjoyed about the separation? What have you not enjoyed about the separation? What have you been learning as a result of the separation? And last but not least, if you were to reconcile, what's your plan? What would need to change so that you can both be happy? You're, you're in this place where you are now for a reason, I, I presume. Um, and how realistic is it that those changes will occur and what's kind of your timeline for how long you're willing to wait for them to occur? Just getting curious here so that you can gain further clarity. Do you see that a lot where it's like it takes a couple chances. You, everybody says they want a divorce and then they're going to try and work it out and then it comes back again. Is that a common thing you see with your clients? It is a common thing that I see where they kind of go through these cycles. Of they, they reach their limit and then they kind of dip their toe in and then it's kind of like, whoa, 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 like what am I doing here? Because it's big change, which is scary and uncomfortable. So it is very common to kind of do that a couple of times and there's no shame around that. It's when you're ready, you'll be ready. And I like how you said uh, you're going to be sad and it's such an uncomfortable thing, even if it's like this must happen. So really digging into differentiating, like, am I sad because this is really sad or am I sad because I really do want to continue this with this person? Exactly. What do you, along those lines, we also get this question a lot. Like I told my wife or my husband that I want a divorce. They're not having it. It's, it a lot of times there is one person that wants it. The other person does it. Can you elaborate on like what you do in a situation like that? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of taking a step back. And, and if this is something that you truly want and there's resistance from the other side, asking yourself, what kind of divorce do I want? First and foremost, do I just want to power through no matter what my spouse is feeling and just deal with those negative repercussions later? Or do I want to take my time and allow my spouse to kind of get used to the idea and then kind of slowly move forward? Um, there's no right or wrong way, but regardless, just know that you are going to be the one who is kind of driving the bus, so to speak. And so that's a different type of responsibility. And it can bring with it a host of other emotions like feeling guilty or feeling just feeling bad that you're kind of forcing your spouse to do something that they don't want to do. Um, so just making sure you acknowledge and process those emotions and just stay clear on what you really want. And my advice that I didn't take find a coach to talk to because I don't know how anybody does this stuff without it. Like I didn't even know that a divorce coach was a thing when I was getting divorced. And like, I can see just the value of somebody holding your hand and saying, this is normal. This is not where to uh, pick your spot. Let people know where they can find you. Sure. I'm on Instagram. My name is at Kara Francis coaching. And then my website is carafrancis coaching.com.